Reporting to you live from Domino's for the last day of the 50% off Domino's pizza promo. It's live from last week, episode 123. Let's go! Wait, hold on a second. Let me put this up here. There you go. Let's go! my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on watch you guys out like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so guys get this yesterday evening while i was on my way to work the baby mini hit a milestone looking at this video here the odometer on the mini hit 123,456 aka one two three four five six so after celebrating for a little bit in the car while going in for my night shift this morning i celebrated a little bit more formally breaking out a one-of-a-kind package of dunkaroos from my locker and although i haven't tried this childhood snack since i was in well my childhood as well as the packaging saying that it's slightly past the better by due date i opened this baby up dipped one of the cookies in the sweet sweet frosting and ate it for my morning breakfast in the car and now after taking a quick post night shift nap looking back at this scene last week when we had our first memo pop in years oh my god <laughs> Jasmine. today we finished our second and last memo pop that we got gifted from jasmine bittersweet but this is our second and last melon pan. Thanks again, Jasmine. And now it's time to eat this baby. Nom 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 nom. Anyways, guys, it's time to go in for my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. All right, guys. After getting a decent length of a post night shift nap in today. The wife had sent me an article on Facebook about a Toronto landmark that one day I would like to visit. A plaque in the Bigfoot Park area that was commemorated to commemorate its own commemoration. So I'm thinking maybe later this year, we'll make a track to commemorate this already commemorated plaque on its own commemoration. Anyways guys, moving on, before I go in for my third of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, we have quick birthday greetings to an old Weissick friend of mine who I used to say hi to at the front desk while she worked security. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my university Catholic chaplaincy friends that I made who is also a big Blue Jays fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Oriana. Happy birthday, Oriana. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who you guys remember went with me to the Alicia Keys concert last summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Wayne. Happy birthday, Wayne. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Guys, I'm thinking that today I'm a little bit delusional. After getting off my third night shift in a row, where my watch post night shift told me that I only got 33 minutes of sleep, I decided to make the most of my day. By first, driving the Mini in this beautiful weather with the sunroof open. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, hello? Like I said before, the sunroof open? There you go, that's better. Anyways, earlier I wanted to make this journey for this Facebook Marketplace posting to buy this Blue Jays alternative cap that they wear. But unfortunately, this listing was all the way out in Ajax. So instead, I decided to visit a place that I haven't been to in quite a while, where I usually go for discounted sports goods. But unfortunately for me, today's sportswear didn't have that cap in stock. So then I decided to make my way up to another mall with a store that I haven't been to in another long time. Checking out Sivu Play up at Woodside Square. And although they too didn't have the cap that I was looking for, I decided to spontaneously spend my money on something else. Which is actually a jersey of one of my favorite players that I've wanted for the past couple of years. This coveted Connor McDavid Oilers jersey. 
And another thing that caught my eye was this Blue Jays cap that was on sale from last year's postseason that I decided to buy in lieu of that initial Facebook Marketplace purchase. And guys, the fun didn't just stop there. With me, as I was leaving Woodside Square, I saw something else that I think my nephew would have liked. Coming back to the other side of Woodside Square, look at what I found. This one's for my nephew who absolutely loves dinosaurs. Check it out, Kyrie. What kind of dinosaur is this? <gasps> Whoa, so cool. Guys, I'm definitely coming back here to Woodside Square for a future dinosaur date night. But yeah, since I went on my own shopping spree without the wife's knowledge, I decided to treat her out to some takeout food from a place that we haven't been to in a while. Chung Chun! <laughs> Let's go! And guys, since I really didn't know what exactly to order, I saw the sign on the wall that showed a Chung Chun 4 pack with the featured Gamsung ramen chips, sweet potato, and squid ink cheese. Woohoo! Chung Chun, here we come wife. Hope you like my surprise. <laughs> and returning home, hoping that she didn't notice me go out on a shopping spree earlier, this was her reaction to my surprise. Surprise! Ooh. Open it up. Is this a game? No, open it up. Oh. You excited to eat it? Oh. All right, let's try it. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. But after eating for a little bit, she eventually got me to make this confession. Like my new hat? Mm -hmm. And my new jersey? I got this so that it would distract you from my jersey and my hat. Did it work? No, because you're like, where'd you get your hat? Where'd you get your jersey? I already knew. I know what you I know what you want. Moving on, after enjoying our chung chung dogs, I'm just chilling at home tonight since I'm running on low bat from the lack of sleep I had today. Where I'm watching the Leafs playoffs game, where they can possibly advance to the second round of the NHL playoffs for the first time in almost 20 years. And well, before I wrap it up for tonight, let's throw it back to Woodside Square for the birthday greeting of the day. Guys, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who I'm remembering years back going with to a Buffalo Bills game. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alta. Happy birthday, Alta. I'm hoping that at this time you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Well, surprise, surprise, Lee fans. After catching this beautiful sunset last night and finishing the last Chung Chung corn dog that was left over, whoo, sweet potato Chung Chung hot dog. Oh, this one's good. I watched the Leafs lose last night's game with them now having to wait until Saturday for game six to see if they can finish off the series. But now, on to today. Before we do anything else, we're just going to start off with a couple of birthday greetings. Beginning with one of the biggest Pittsburgh Penguins fans that I know when I worked back at BBG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Richie. Happy birthday, Richie. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my university classmates who I actually ran into while running the Toronto Waterfront Marathon. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. We've also got a birthday shout out to a Wysik friend of mine who I remember meeting when she was a foreign exchange student when she lived in Toronto. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jess. Happy birthday, Jess. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of the best Titos in the world who is always looking for his beer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tito Rene. Happy birthday, Tito Rene. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, after hearing that a couple of our friends were going to the Blue Jays game tonight, and with the wife treating us out because today was her payday, she let me pick out a couple of options for tickets for tonight's 
game, which unfortunately, since it's a giveaway night, the game itself is almost sold out with the prices being crazy inflated with several of my go-to resale ticket sites this morning showing the cheapest 500 level ticket prices for the low low price of a hundred bucks each ticket. But luckily after hours of searching I was able to land a couple of tickets behind the Blue Jays dugout for a more reasonable price. And before we headed our way to the dome to catch the game this evening we stopped by a place that we haven't been to in several weeks, our local Domino's, to take out a pizza since this week they have a promotion where all Domino's pizzas are 50% off. And yeah, since we were rushing to get to the game, while on the GO train, we decided to open it up and have a couple of slices before finding out that we just couldn't finish it all. So what exactly did we decide to do? You guys guessed it, was try to smuggle the whole pizza and its pizza box into the dome. Woohoo! We smuggled the pizza in! <laughs> Woo! Dominoes! <laughs> we were also able to line up early enough to get the jersey giveaway of the day. The one and only George Springer alternate blue Blue Jays jersey. Yeah, Springer! <laughs> All right, let's go. While also meeting up with and making a couple of friends along the way. Yo, it's Jeff! Let's go! MVP of our next time, bro. Let's go! Let's go! Anyways, guys, let's get to the action and see just how this rematch went of the 2022 AL Wildcard Series. Last night's game was definitely one I won't forget. From filming several live action shots of the game. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 <laughs> to video calling my family while we're sitting in the general admission bleacher section to also taking a video of these battle scars that I received on my knees while watching from the 100 level section from catching slash diving upon this ball that was part of a play in the top of the 6th inning You're the start now, it's going to come now. tough decisions Backhanded by Merrifield Jesus sets down all three he faces here in the top of the sixth. That after the play was tossed around the horn, touching the hands of all the infielders, handled by Meza, Merrifield, Vladdy Jr., Bo Bichette, and tossed into the crowd by birthday boy Matt Chapman, I will truly cherish the good time that I had at this game. And also, while making our way home, we passed by this hotel with this video clip. Oh, do you remember the last time we were here? Yes. When was it? An intern wedding photos. Oh. <laughs> Our wedding day. Let dun dun right? dun. Anyways, today with all this rain outside, but me wearing these sunglasses that y'all see on my face right now, because I scratched my right eye before filming this segment, 
We're enjoying this nice, peaceful rest day, as well as several of these delicious takeout dishes from our favorite local Royal Kanji restaurant, trying out their salt and pepper pork chop, and their delicious crispy deep fried chicken wings, before I go in for my first of my scheduled two weekend night shifts tonight. And on that note, before I go on for work, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my cousins who I last visited in the Philippines over two decades ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Didai. Happy birthday, Didai. I'm hoping that at this time, you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Man, what a night that we had in the NHL last night. Where two of the teams that I'm cheering on for meeting in the Stanley Cup Finals, Connor McDavid and his Edmonton Oilers, as well as the ones in blue and white, the Toronto Maple Leafs, with wins last night, have both advanced to the second round of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. And although not a lot of people could believe it, Toronto has finally made it past the first round for the first time since 2004. Some people are even saying now that the curse is finally over. But I'm guessing in the next month, we'll finally see if that will hold true or not. And speaking of the next month, today we're celebrating with that famous one-liner that NSYNC's Justin Timberlake would always say at this time of year. Where, starting tomorrow, it's gonna go. Anyways, today, post night shift, going back for the first time in a couple of months, the wife and I went to the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Sunday Morning Mass before chilling today in between night shifts and taking advantage once again of the last day of the Domino's 50% off pizza promo as I go in for my second night shift tonight. But prior to making my commute this evening, we have a quick birthday greeting to a beach volleyball friend of mine who I haven't paired up with in the past couple of years. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends who you guys remember me playing badminton with a couple weeks back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Gio. Happy birthday, Gio. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. First of all, I want to wish and welcome y'all to a new month. The month of May. Happy May, guys! And on that note, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there. The one and only Mr. PopJ2 at Hotmail.com himself. This birthday shout out goes out to you, JJ. Happy birthday, JJ. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, after getting a post-night shift nap yesterday for only 80 minutes, today post-shift I got another lack of sleep with another nap totaling of less than an hour. So pretty much I'm feeling like I'm walking around floating at this time. But anyways, tonight, the wife and I are out on a date at a place that we haven't been to in several months and we're revisited on a patio during the time of the pandemic. The one y'all know as Lally Bella's here on Ossington to chow down on some delicious Ethiopian food. How is it? <laughs> Long time no taste. Yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, guys, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.